Mom and Love is scheduled to move in in eight days, and her flat is. It's getting there okay there's a lot that we still need to do in the flat we still need to scree the floor or cement the floor because they had to reroute the pipes in the kitchen because we are moving her sink so that gap needs to be closed up and the floor needed to be lifted so all the floors are the same height then the floor needs to come in i just ordered her kitchen sink because we needed that in order to get the countertop guys out to come and measure where they need to cut the holes and do the sloped stuff for the drainage at the sink sloped grooves her tap arrived yesterday which i desperately want to show you give me a second so i bought this tap from leroy merlin it's the only place that i could find for a really good price and the tap, including delivery, so this is from Joburg to Cape Town, was 1,874 Rand. In my opinion, that's nothing if you look at the quality of this tap. Mom in law wants to go for a more traditional vintage feel paired with some modern elements, and which is kind of the same thing that we're doing in our house. Our styles seem to be pretty much the same. She just likes a little bit more curved things, a little bit more elegance and patterns. On our side, we're a little bit more minimalistic, but still enjoying the traditional vintage feel, you know? Anyway, okay, so here's the top. Just look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? This is so heavy. It's heavier than a bag of sugar. Like, it's, it's heavy and it's solid. This is going to be her kitchen sink mixer and it's the most beautiful thing. I might even copy her. It's a mixer, so it turns, okay, to either side of the, the sink. And then obviously you, you have your hot and cold over here. It's got a little bit of a indication there to show you what hot and cold is. I just ordered her kitchen sink online from CBS Decor. We wanted to go with a butler sink, a double butler sink, but first of all, it's quite pricey um, and we are always on a budget. We want to work on a budget, but still have pretty things and that's possible. So I Google searched white double kitchen sink and some of the ceramic options came up, which is mostly the butler sinks. But then another option that came up was a brand that CBS Decor imports. It's Laveo. It's a Polish uh, brand. They are made of 80% granite, I think, and 20% recyclable materials. So I just ordered that, and I'm gonna show you guys quickly how pretty it is. The idea is to do an underslung, under-mounted kitchen sink, so that quartz countertops so we're doing goes over the sink, and then we have the sloped grooves into the quartz countertop to allow for drainage. It feels a bit more finished off, feels a little bit more, I wanna say a bit more traditional, I don't know. It feels more fun <laughs> to do. The other thing that we'll need to consider, that we needed to consider was the fact that it's quite a heavy sink because it's 80% granite. It's extremely heavy. I think it might even be a little bit heavier than a butler sink. The installer needs to know what they're doing. So I had to phone my installer up first and say, hey, this is what we're working with. It's the wind. That's actually a real big problem in this flat because we go into the bathroom and there would be a draft going through from the bathroom window that pushes the door open because it doesn't have a latch. And then you'll be sitting on the toilet with an open door. Henry and I, we don't do the toilet thing in front of each other, so. We made a change in Mom and Love's flat as well, which is extra cost that we didn't budget for, but we know that it's gonna be better to do it in this stage of the renovations instead of doing it later. The change we made in the flat was to, in Mom and Love's master bedroom, there's a massive glass frame with two windows. So she had no direct access to the outside or to the backyard. She had to walk all the way around going through a gate going to the backyard. And she basically told us, you know what, why don't we just do that now while it's dirty, while it's construction time let's just get that sorted now so i hopped onto, fa onto facebook marketplace i looked for some french doors that has the colonial pane look that we have with the rest of the windows in the house 
which is basically three panels. And one is a fixed panel and then you've got the two French doors that open side by side, which was basically almost the same width as the gap that she has there right now. But they will need to go higher up to suit or to fit the, the height of these doors. Current height of that gap in the bedroom is not standard door height. It's a lot lower because it was just windows. So hopefully we can get that done in this week because we need to do the flooring next week as she's moving in next week, Thursday or Wednesday. <sighs> I get overwhelmed at moments. Uh, like yesterday was not a good day for me. I was just overwhelmed by everything because we had our year in finance meeting for the business as well which racks my brain sometimes because I'm not naturally good at figures, at finances and accounting and stuff. So it takes a lot of effort out of brain effort out of me to sit down and understand what is being said. Uh, having all of this influx of information was a little bit much to deal with. But I took a nice swim last night. We got some takeaways and we just had like a pig out session last night. Well, not a pig out session. We had a burger and we watched some series. Just to kind of get our mind off of everything else that's happening. Be kind of a... Uh, I got these bikes. <laughs> okay, but that's all for me now. They have closed up all the access to the main house. They opened a new doorway from her new living area into her bedroom. They've chased quite a few plugs and switches, moved switches around on the walls. And three weeks in, we definitely noticed that there's one spot that we would have loved to have a plug as well. We didn't do that, but we decided we're not gonna add in another plug at this point because it's just for convenience purposes and there is a plug close by to just run a lead on top of the skirting so you won't be able to see it. They removed the little kitchen island with a the sink. They relayed all of the plumbing from that point into the new location for the kitchen sink. They have patched up all of the ceiling boards where the walls were removed. They removed all of the tiles and the carpets in the space as well. They lifted the living room floor with about 30 moles to match the height of the flooring in the kitchen. They removed all of the wall tiles in the kitchen. We found that behind the tiles in one part of the kitchen was wall brick. Mom and was very excited when she saw that. She felt like she wanted to do the raw brick thing, but she didn't like the color. She's going for a very neutral color palette for her flat. She just wants to add in some blue and green tones just to add a little bit of life. So the red brick wasn't going to work for her. So we might even just paint it white, um, all depending on what happens. So the wall that you see behind me is where we are relocating her gas hub to. Um, that wall is going to be very big the moment so she asked if we could do vertical paneling on that wall and then we're just going to make sure that we give it a nice top coat just to protect it against any of the oil because that's going to be where she's cooking so i'm going to have to do research on that as well most of the stuff that we do in this renovation is my first time so i'm figuring it out as i go and if i learn something i would like to share it with you hopefully it could help you in doing a renovation or feeling a bit more confident with making decisions or maybe knowing what not to do
It's four days before mom in law moves in. It's a cool Saturday, thankfully, um, and we are facing a lot of challenges today. So, we bought a French door, a three set French door set on Facebook Marketplace that the guys need to install today because we need to paint. Um, so, they need to screed the walls, skin the walls. And then, Monday, which is in two days, screeding is happening on the floor. Um, and then Tuesday they are installing the vinyl flooring and the countertop in the kitchen and then Wednesday mom and love is moving in So we have so little time to do all of this. Thankfully, we have a lot of people here They're struggling to figure out the door that I got on Facebook marketplace and how that actually goes together and if we have all the parts and what goes away, it's Turning out to be quite a puzzle, but I have faith that this is gonna work out I prayed about today and I asked God to give us wisdom and supernatural time and energy to get these things in order for her um, and for it to happen with joy and singing and gratefulness in our hearts we're not going to be stressed and anxious about things that we can't control so i'm trying to maintain that mentality throughout this day
Mom, yes, Mom, yes, sir. We've been very busy this weekend trying to get mom and us fat ready because she's moving in today's Sunday. She's moving in on Wednesday. We are nowhere near getting the flat done for her to move in. We still need to put in a door. She's got no door in her master bedroom. There's only a gap. And the wind and weather are enjoying themselves coming into the flat. There's no door. Um, because the cement is still wet, it still needs to be skimmed. I mean, there's just so much to be done. We still need to paint a lot of the walls. We still need to paint the bedroom ceiling. But we can't do any of that in the bedroom until it's skimmed around the door and that's dried. And for the next two days, we can't really do anything in the flat because tomorrow the floor is being screeded. Screeded? They're screeding the floor to prep for the vinyl. Tuesday, the vinyl is coming in, the kitchen countertops coming in, and we're not gonna be done painting. So we're gonna to have to do some painting work once that is done. One of the reasons we try to get everything done before the floor and countertops come in is so that we don't mess on anything, and unfortunately, we're just not making it. Um, putting in her French doors in her bedroom last minute just unfortunately put us back with many hours. And we try to enjoy ourselves and not to be too serious because it's okay. At least she's got a roof over her head and she can live there. Um, the doors will definitely be in so she'll be able to lock everything up when she's here. We are a little bit tired and tomorrow the work continues. Actual work, eight to five work and renovation work. It's by God's grace alone that we're still standing. Two weeks ago, if you asked me, am I over it? I wasn't over it. I was like, this is fine, it's easy, we're gonna do this. It's relaxed, I'm happy. <laughs> and now I'm like, I want it to end. I don't want to do this anymore. I lost my cool so many times because I just, 
had sensory overload with everyone wanting something from me and my phone ringing and emails coming in, Instagram messages coming in and people knocking on the door and then take a lot and then checkers and then courier guy and then, and then the contractors call me and I was just over it. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's gonna get easier but your renovation is not easy. It's not necessarily fun all the time, but it can be fun sometimes. I'm 50-50 at this set. Wait, wait, let's maybe go 30% fun, 70% freaking out. Thinking of everything and taking everything into consideration. Um, Henry and I sat on the stairs this morning just looking at the house and just reminding ourselves that renovation is a process and that we have to keep the end product in mind and, and that we are making progress even though it feels like a mess. And that when everything is done, we're going to look back and say, how on earth did we even get through this? Firstly and secondly, we won't even remember the mess because we'll be so overwhelmed by the joy of having the space so beautifully put together for our family. So that's me. It's almost 5 p.m. on Sunday evening and we're probably going to be painting until 9 p.m. tonight or until someone falls asleep. Um, so I'll check in with you guys soon.